Jesus name we pray hallelujah our God is worthy to be praised hallelujah if you believe that he's the way the truth and the life I want to hear you shout hallelujah if it's the only reason for which you are here today I want to hear you shout hallelujah
give you all the praise. Hallelujah. All right. Are you ready to tell God what he means to you? Give him praise. He's declaring who he is to us. Hallelujah. So that your soul hears it. So that your ear hears it. So that the devil hears it. Hallelujah. We have to declare that he's our God. He's our king. He's the leader. And there's nothing anyone can do about it.
and we bow down before you. We declare you are the king of all the kings. The governor of all the nations. The unchanging changer. The self-existing God. The self-sustaining God. Yahweh of Israel. The strength of Israel. Our king, our master. The lover of our soul. The glory and the lifter up of our head. We bow down before you this afternoon, oh God. And we declare that you are the eternal king. There is none that can be compared unto you. You are the amazing God. The unchanging king. The one who is higher than the highest. The one who is greater than the greatest. The awesome God. The omnipotent God. The omnipresent God. The omnipotent God. We worship you. We declare that you are king. You are the matchless God. We bow before you and we say, Now we do. We bow in awesome worship of you, God. None can be compared unto you. You reign and you rule forevermore. You sit in heaven and you make the act of food. We bless your holy name. Accept our sacrifice of worship this afternoon. Let it be a sweet smelling salvo in your sight. Spirit of the living God will welcome you. Come and have your way to be your God. Come and touch lives. Let us have a definite encounter with you, God. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's give you a round of applause. Not to the point to the most high God for such an awesome time, even in the presence of the most high God. Hallelujah. Let's have our seats this afternoon. Praise the name of the Lord. That was an awesome time in the presence of the most high. The God that we serve is the great, greatest God, is the matchless God, is the unchanging changer. If somebody believes that, let the person shout a resounding hallelujah today. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Our God is great indeed. Amen. And we bow before him. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you even at this time, even this afternoon, to the celebration service of Jesus House. Do you see? Amen. Amen. Are you excited this afternoon? Even it's the long weekend, right? So you don't have to be in a hurry to go to work on Monday. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm very, very excited today. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I know that we have all come. I know even I see a few seats empty. So I want to believe that people have taken time even to travel for the memorial holiday. But also, I want to give an opportunity to everyone. Yesterday was the global outreach day. How many people were here yesterday? Wow, just a few hands. We seem to have forgotten that God gave us that great commission that we should go and do what and make disciples of every man. So if you don't see somebody sitting next to you, it's your fault. Did you ever reach out? Did you ever speak to anybody about the Lord Jesus Christ even this past week? I want to make that a challenge unto you. Every moment that we have, every encounter that we have, let us take it as an opportunity to speak to somebody about Christ. It is not about you bringing them to church. It's about you sowing that seed into their hearts and leave the rest. God will take care of the rest. So next time, I want to give you that opportunity. The next opportunity is going to be at the end of, I believe, June. You're going to get information about it. Please take time to join because as you do so, the Bible says that he that winneth soul is what? is wise. So I want to believe that you are all wise. Amen? God will help each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Once again, I want to welcome you even to this wonderful celebration service. And I want to ask if today is your very first time of worshiping with us in Jesus' house this year. I want to crave your indulgence. If today is your very first time, I'd like you to please wave your hands. I'd like you to rise up on your feet because we want to acknowledge you. We have special seats that have been reserved for you. Is there anyone in the house who is worshiping with us for the very first time? Praise the name of the Lord. Let's give a round of applause even to our dear sister. Somebody has invited her and she has honored that invitation. She's a miracle walking on two legs. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. My dear sister, I want to welcome you especially once again on behalf of our senior pastors, Pastor Gandhi and Omo Olaoye. I want to welcome you to Jesus House, D.C., where our 
mission and vision is restoring hopes and maximizing potentials. I want to say to you this morning, whatever hope, whatever potential that you have, God will bring it out so that it will maximize in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe a card, a special card has been given to you. Please take time to fill out your information on that card. We want to get to know you more. We want to also be able to pray with you. So if you have any prayer request, I believe there's a special you know, section there. Please fill out your prayer points because we are a praying church and we're going to be joining you in prayers and trusting that God will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. At the end of the service, we have a special reception for you where we're going to have some people who are going to receive you just to get to know you better. And we want to ask that you please stay behind just for a few moments so that we can, you know, be able to ask you questions or you can be able to ask us questions and we can provide answers to you. So I want to ask, will you wait behind? She says yes. And peradventure, you don't have a Bible-believing church. And you're in this area, you live in this area, Jesus of D.C., what will you ever do this afternoon? That's an open invitation to you. Amen. And we hope that you will take that invitation up. And we were so excited, you know, looking forward to receive you. Praise the name of the Lord. And for our regular members, I know that a lot of us, has, we have gone on vacation. But for those of us that are here, I wanted to reach out to the next person sitting to you and give them a very warm welcome. We do recognize that it is a privilege that you have given to us to serve you and we are not taking that for granted we appreciate you for being members of this church day in and day out we know that you have different options but god has always made you to continually come so give that person a warm handshake welcome them tell them to have a great memorial day weekend and enjoy even the beautiful weather that is set out god bless you real good amen Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, church. Um, it's time for congregational prayer. And then um, this is the time that we we'll pray corporately as a church. We join our brethren. We join our faith with theirs. For those who are believing God for